What's poppin' Slick Block Mafia? It's your boy, D-Wise Gamer. And today we're gonna be playing some more Octopath Traveler. Last time we were playing, we bought some rocks, resold them. Today, we're gonna be buying some more rocks and reselling them because we are the merchants. Merchant. We are the queen of merchants, the king of thieves, the adventurers of adventurers. And, uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying, I always enjoy Tressa's fucking quest, alright? Because it's so fucking lighthearted. So let's go talk to this man up here. Cool. Every so often something good gets excavated, or most of the time it's these blasted stones. Scrutinize. Let's go! Alright, you got nothing for me. Oh, use 0777. Okay. I'll take these nondescript stones. The only purchase. Alright, thank you, man. That's exactly what I wanted. Haggling successful? Damn, Haggling was not successful that time. I didn't know she can haggle. So, you know. But she's actually getting it cheaper. Should get, I guess. Tell me what you know. 0419. Birthplace Sunlands. Additional notes all work and no food makes for a dull miner. No food. Why would you be working without food? Through the mysterious ore. Through the shadow stone. Thank you. Through the mysterious. Thank you. One remaining. All right, we got one more person to buy stones from. And then we're going to sell them for buttloads of money. We're talking millions. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. uh, labor. Laborer. If you dig up anything, I hear the landlord drives a hard bargain. Scrutinize. What do you mean the landlord drives a hard part? Tell me what you know. Registration number 0822. We're at first place, Flatlands. Additional notes ranked 102nd most productive out of 1,274 miners. This is up, man. You keep working. Get to the top 20 or 50. There'll be a bonus for you. Rare stone. Yeah. You didn't help me at all that time. What was? God damn it! That should do it. Now it's back to the square. I bet you someone's gonna try, gonna try starting some shit with us. That dude. Uh, what's his face? Who supposedly owns this town? I bet he's gonna hear about us selling these rocks. Come on down, like you. Huh? I thought I nah, flail. Oh, silver hill. Yeah. Oh, he's on hills. So let me sell. Mysterious ore, rare stone. Full gold? Fool's gold. Oh, man, fuck me. Broadsword, but sell three of them. I can't. I'm gonna sell two of them. Let's not sell any of those. 
and then just got one up. Oh, is he crested down here? Alright, let's just sell two of them in. Keep one. Rod, Elusive Shield? Hmm, nah. Yeah. It wouldn't be that bad for a failure. And that evasion up would be real nice. And I think that's what we'll do. Height Shield. It's just 10. Look at that evasion. Let's see, 593, 598. Yeah, let's give her, let's give her this. That, that evasion is real good. That evasion puts her not only with me, puts her with me, man. Above me. Was there a quest up there? No, no, I talked to him. I talked to him. You're back at 30,000. I bet he's coming. Be the first in line to see the rarest. Yep. I can smell it in the wind. A bitch ass nigga. Run! Ladies and gentlemen, gather round oh, and Ollie. prepare yourselves for a breathtaking sight. This, my friends, is the one and only Sparkle, Shiny Sky Stone. My nigga, my nigga, you ain't gonna sit here and act like you didn't see my girl trying to sell stones right here, did you? Huh? You think I'm just gonna let that shit fly, my nigga? Huh? Nah, bruh. Nah. Don't touch me, old brick. The fuck off me, man. Ralphin, hold my, hold my dagger. I'm about to give this nigga the sword. I'm about to gut this nigga. Dude, bruh. Man, one second there? You know what you got me, I'm right. I'm gonna beat this nigga with a stick. What? You can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. That is cheap and dirty. Golly, that is fucked up. What? <laughs> you piece of what shit. What a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? I mean, granted, he did tell you about those stones. So, you know, you should have you saw this coming. I was wrong about who the bitch nigga was, but I was right about being a bitch nigga anyway. But I won't go down without a fight. And there's the hero going to get a selling montage. So I decided to name of this. I'm gonna name this episode The Merchant's Merchant. This Risa is truly the merchant's merchant. They certainly are beautiful. You said what half makes your her price from hers. Yeah, what makes your stones different from hers, huh? 
Huh? Besides being slightly bigger. You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. Look at them. That's right, folks. Look at his stones. Don't pay attention to me. What do you mean what I'm doing with this club? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. There's nothing to worry about. I am a humble and pious man who follows the will of the sacred flame. I would never do anything underhanded, dirty, or treacherous. Like beating a nigga over the head with a rod. See all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, my lady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. I was just have to say, two of these niggas aren't originally from here. That lady and that dude in the jacket are probably his homies helping him sell. When you put it that way. Is that bone? Nah, I mean, I'm just hearing things. Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? Hey, hey, hey. You look at the Merchant's Guide 101, you see using sex appeal is one of the ways to increase customer demand. I mean, to increase the rate of customer consumage. Alright, you can't be mad at him for being charming. You just have to step your game up. You gotta be more charming than the charmer. Here, let this old rogue teach you how it's done. Do you have a daughter, my good sir? What does that have to do with anything? That doll's a boulder fall make, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. What doll? You see, this is what I'm talking about. They could put like they could easy like just, like a little picture on the side or something of him, of a doll in his hand, or make it look ob more obvious on his sprite that he's carrying a doll. Oh, how did you know? Indeed, it is. It indeed is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. Mmm, you're right. I'm the type of friend who wants the only best for my friends. I'm willing to do anything in my power to ensure they stay happy. That means that I have to cut a few loose strings off to clear the way. And I so will. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? I mean, how old is she? If she's only like five or six, then yeah, absolutely. Hell, even if she's ten or to twelve. That doll will still absolutely suffice. Fourteen and up, then yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta start spending more money. I mean I'm a guy and I started getting jewelry when I was thirteen. I can only imagine. You have a 14 year old girl and you're still bringing her dolls and stuff. I don't know, bracelets or neckline, necklaces. Mm. I mean, yeah, she might be 
you a little peep, but you're still treating her like a little girl. The Sky Stone is as pure innocent this sky as stone is a adult. daughter's love. I call bullshit. You don't know that. I have seen, I have seen parents and children with love so deep it could crack the oceans. Are you telling me that this sky stone here is as pure and innocent as that type of love? So pure and innocent they could crack the oceans with this purity? I think not. I bet if I was the door in the ocean, it would simply sink and erode over time. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. And yeah, it'll also make her a spoiled brat. Just ask. The light will connect her to you, no matter how far you may travel. You know, he kind of looks like the uh, Pirate King. That Teresa got the uh, book, the Adventurer's Journal from. Dear Father. I like think his hair was brown. Dear Father, when will you come home? His, his acting skills are on point. Give me a silver, no, a copper, and we'll do it at his eye. Now give me two. I'm gonna take out both this thing's eyes. Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. Yeah, he's really doing this sale. You can just see her smiling face now. No, you can't. Stop lying to yourself. Alright, and you can see her dazzling eyes, maybe, but you can't see her smiling face. There's a look of excitement in her eyes as she sees the gem. Because she doesn't even know what the gem is, it'd probably be a look of astonishment and wonder. As she asks you, what type of gem is this? Where did you find it? Then you can weave some epic tale of heroism, of heroism. And how you battle the dragon, save the princess from a far off nation. Rode on your horse for thousands of miles. Just to bring home the most beautiful gem you found in the dragon's cave. As it reminded you of your loving daughter's gaze. What a pleasant young man. What a pleasant young man. I'll take one. What a stupid old man getting conned. But don't worry. When I slice his throat, he won't con no one ever again. You're most welcome, You're my, most good welcome sir. my good sir. Um, what? Yeah, man, he's a good salesman, alright? I gotta give him that. If I wasn't a thief, he might have sold me too. Sold me on the stones, all right, that's what I meant. Step right up, there's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. You better drop the prices. Supply and demand. You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I call bullshit. Just look across the street. We're right here, my nigga. Alright, I'm gonna have to gut a few people. This I'll bitch is stealing our customers. I'm 
telling you, those two people, the first two customers that went to him, they're in on his little charade. I bet those aren't even real sky stones. Unlike ours. Authentic. One for me too. What? No, that is not his voice. You see that beard? You see that white hair? Why would he sound like this? He just sound grizzled, no. Like he's seen some things, made some deals. Yes, one for me too. I will give it to my great granddaughter. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, God, no. This is so fucking cute. Can you imagine someone getting angry there and the noise that makes this? <laughs> <laughs> we got fucked. Woo! Would you look at that? Would you look Business at that? This is booming. <laughs> Boo man. Boo man, you suck. You're a bitch. You've always been a bitch. Well, maybe not for all of us. All nine generations are nothing but bitches. Your mother was a bitch. Your father was a bitch. Your son's gonna be a bitch. Your daughter's gonna be a bitch. Your great grandfather was a bitch. Your dogs, chickens, and cats are all bitches. Fuck you. Fuck everybody in your family. If I see them, they're dead! Dead, you hear me? You win, you win this round. I keep forgetting that voice acting. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. She basically means you're wet behind the ears. Lacking experience. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. Don't worry, I know one of those two things. Loosening purse strings. Did I steal the whole purse? I'll steal the purse and their, their fucking wallets, their cars, their houses, their land. I stole it all because it's all mine. Because I'm Therian, the king of thieves. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. That is naive, my child. If you don't make a sale, how can you call yourself a merchant? If you're not making profit or gains, and you're truly not a merchant. You're just a peddler. Peddling your wares for whatever you can get. And even then, peddlers are trying to make a game. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. True. But you need to have what your customer needs. And if you don't, you can only sell them the next best thing. And even then, 
Everyone is a customer as long as you can make a profit. So there's the holes in that there sentence of yours. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Oh, quite a few things, actually. Alright, don't worry, you'll understand what's wrong with embellishing your story when you're behind bars. Embellishment? Yes, embellishment, meaning lies, or just adding to the truth, or subtracting from the truth. A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. Yes, they cut into the heart of their customer, pulling off the inner yearnings, thus lessening the string on their purse. Tell this name. Where the fuck are you going? Oh, I know where you went. Wow, he screwed us. Like we're on town here. Oh, wait, no. Seems rather good. Rather good. God damn it. At this. Yeah, this Ollie fellow seems rather good at this. I can't believe he's gotten away with that. But I'll show him. I must confess, I've never met anyone so smooth at the top. Smooth of tongue. That's a weird way to say glib. In a way, it's hard not to admire him. I call bullshit. Ophelia! Whose side are you on, anyway? Why yours, of course. This isn't over, I swear. I'll make more coin than him before we're through. Just so, and I shall offer a blessing for your success. Success! I think I need to practice my sales pitch. My sales pitch. You mean to be more persuasive like Ollie? Persuasive like Ollie. No, not like them exactly. If I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things. I suppose it had just been practiced to make him sound so clever. Exactly, it's so all I need to do is practice more. And that was uncertainty when she said, I suppose. In fact, I'll start now. You pretend to be a customer, alright? Yeah, this couldn't be Ethereum. Okay. Robs her of everything she has. Thank you for the patronage. Wait, what? Hmm. You're going to feel like I got you, bitch. You're going to buy all of my wares. Every single one of them. Now let's change some people around. Change party. Annette. Cyrus. Ophelia. Oh, 
Just making it. <sighs> exactly. Because I'm coming up here, right? It's making it load like this. It's uh, cutting off dialogue options. So, I need to save my money. You got 32,000. You can spend at least a few hundred of food. Hello there. Your finest meatballs, sir. What's that? I heard you want to choke on some balls? Is that correct? Well, here, let me help you out. <laughs> Shove all the meatballs down your throat. Watch you choke them. While oh, you're gasping for air, begging me to save you. I'm gonna show you the depths of my mercy. With a nice, clean dagger to the throat. I take it you're on a tight budget now. Fuck you. Fuck your red band, hair band, head, sweatband. Fuck your red vest. Fuck your green trousers. Fuck your flowing slick black hair. Hmm. You don't need your fucking symph 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 fucking. Sympathy? Sympathy. I uh, refuse to take pity food from a rival. Well, I thought he was trying to give us money. Here's some money to buy your food. Go with danger! Goddamn money! Do I look broke to you, bitch? Do I? Oh, all right. Suit yourself. Say. So why did you stop? Well, uh, so why did you take up this line of work anyway? You see. Yep, we're at this point where we just they stop talking. They rely on me. <sighs> Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it's just came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. Well, well. You don't say. My old man's a merchant too. Was well, a merchant. In the south, everyone and their uncles heard of Morris, the merchant. He was such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But have you seen this here sand? This is golden sand. Every piece of this sand is the purest and finest of gold. But 
he never once told a lie. That's where he's better than you, you lying, thieving bitch. He's still a bitch, though. Like I said, whole family's a bunch of bitches. With just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling. And make them feel genuinely happy about the purchase. It was like magic. It probably was magic. <laughs> His words had incredible power, one that could help people see the beauty in the things they purchased. That's beautiful, man. He was still a bitch, though. You bitch ass nigga. So I decided to follow my old man's footsteps. Really? Did you take up the family business? And to request me, you bitch ass nigga. No. I ran away from home. Yeah, I knew it. I figured. I told you he was a bitch. Well, I'm definitely you ran away from home too, but. But yeah. What? I'll spare you the details, just that's just how things played out. I see. It wasn't so different for me. What are you looking for? <laughs> Man, you don't say. Now then. Now I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Same to you, I made the best merchant win. I think it's how most merchants leave home. Hmm. Omar. Well, well. You seem to be doing well for yourself. Illegal though your business may be. Hmm. And who? Are you? This is the bitch ass nigga I thought was gonna show up and try to put a stop to our selling. But finally, this bitch ass nigga shows up. <clears throat> Watch your tone, boy. This bitch ass nigga's name is Mr. Murloc. <laughs> Almost the establishment as well as everything else in this town. Oh, really? I might just have to steal the deed. Bitch ass niggas don't deserve to own towns. <coughs> that I most certainly do. Hey, now. That's great, no, but what do you mean, illegal? But there was just dusty little rocks until I polished them to the sheen. Uh -uh. That pompous attitude, that pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. I'm glad you're talking to him, because you're talking to Teresa. <laughs> I'll show you what it means to get in trouble someday. Because every word you speak digs your grave a little bit deeper. Every slight insult you throw, my dagger reaches just a bit deeper. And 
as landowner here, Mr. Murloc has the right to oversee any and all business transactions he so desires. Is that the way it works? <laughs> I want to I see him try to claim our money. I'll show you exactly how that plays out. So now that includes the trading of your little rocks. Hmm. Does it now? That seems awfully arbitrary, if you ask me. So that would be the first foul thing to happen here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Marlon? You see the price of gold. Actually, it's actually ten times what you're giving to your miners. <sighs> Ali. Look at me. Maybe this isn't the time. <laughs> Tressa, stand the fuck back. Let me take care of this. And who are you? My name is Therian. Maybe you've heard of me. But don't worry, even if you haven't. I'll make sure to carve my name into your bones when I'm through. Gosh. Just exactly the time. They're deceiving honest, hard-working people just to line their pockets. You're not such a bitch ass nigga after all. You're just a bitch. On my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. He's gonna be shot with a crossbow. Pop. <laughs> teach this litter. Litter. Omar, teach this little desert and what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Uh. Ready to be squished, boy? <laughs> Ready to see you try. I'm stronger than I look. I'm well versed in the trading arts. Let's do this. One man army they called me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed more people than I can count and all with one hand. And you'll make a fine opponent. He got fucked up. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Most of the time, people are probably too afraid to really strike against him because of his father's reputation. Uh... The one-man army. <laughs> I told you not to have too much high expectations for bitch. I mean, for bitches. Nigga, you... <laughs> You just said you've killed hundreds of people. You literally said you've killed hundreds of people with your bare hands. You can't just you can't just turn around after a loss and be like, well, a merchant's weapons is his words. You don't stand a chance on a real battlefield. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> My fight was lost the instant we came the blow. Right? I can't. Dude, come on, man. Talking all that shit, you can't back any of it up. I'm like, the fuck? He's dead. <laughs> I trust you learned your lesson, and.
<laughs> you don't even know who the fuck you just wronged, you piece of shit. But you know what? There's one thing I will say. In the years of life that I've been living, the number of people that have tried to rob from me to be counted on my on one hand, and the number of those people that are alive after trying to rob me are non-existent. Motherfucker. I am the king of thieves. Stealing from me can only be punished by one of fits. Capital of fits. Death. slaughter your whole manner. Now I do agree with what Murloc said. I mean what he said to Murloc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone call me? I miss him? But uh -huh. even if he could have been more diplomatic about it. I'm more surprised you let him steal your shit. Man, that could have been a nice fight. You know, we didn't even have to let fucking Ollie fight. She just had to step up, push him back. And then we would have whooped his little bodyguard's ass. Like, the fuck? Mark said he's being in this manner. It's time to pay him a visit. I don't want to kill this nigga. Well, we obtained 500. You're going to have to kill this nigga. He thinks this is a game. He thinks we a joke. He don't know. He don't know. What we been through. They don't know. What we can do. Alright you guys, I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed this episode, episode 42, a merchant's of, no, fuck words. Episode 42 of my Octopath Traveler's Let's Play, A Merchant's Tale, Chapter 2, Merchant's Merchant. The merchant's Merchant. Leave a like and a comment. Tell me what part of the episode you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this episode, leave a like and a comment anyway. Tell me how you think I can improve so you can enjoy your future viewing experience. This is DYS Gamer with Slick Block Mafia. Subscribe to join Slick Block and deuces, SDO. PWG is out. Peace.